se puede, pero quiero verte una última vez. Sé que tú no quieres y aunque yo te entiendo no puedo saber. Hello and welcome to Ursus Brown Travel. We are currently on the beautiful island of Mallorca. We are here for three nights and will show you what you can do within this short period of time. We will visit many beaches. However, we start the video in the capital of this island, called Palma de Mallorca. We start our day at the Royal Palace of La Almudena. The palace is together with the Cathedral of Palma, a landmark of the capital of Mallorca. During their stays on Mallorca, the palace is the official residence of the king and queen. The palace dates back to the 14th century. From Mallorca's beautiful capital, we head to our place to stay for these three nights in Porta Colum. Porta Colum is located on the east side of the island. This side of the island has many beautiful beaches, coves and beautiful blue waters. The first beach we visit is Platja de Cala Marcol. This beautiful bay has a relatively narrow but deep sandy beach. You can rent sunbeds with an umbrella but you can also lie on your towel for free and optionally bring your own umbrella. We could walk to this beach from our apartment. Now should you also wish to stay at this beautiful bay, we did put the link of the apartment in the description. We set off for the next beautiful location. This bay, in my opinion, was the most beautiful we visited during our trip. Cala San Nau is located in the middle between Calador and Porta Colum. The music that was played, the opportunity to eat and drink at a nice beach bar, the narrow bay with beautiful yachts at the end of it, and the beautiful blue crystal clear water. It has everything that is needed for a truly heavenly experience. Even during the time we stayed there in autumn, it was 24 to 25 degrees Celsius. So it is the perfect place to extend your summer a bit longer. We drive to the next beach. Cala Esteni Dean Mas is already a slightly wider and larger beach. Unlike the previous beach, this one is more suitable for families with children. 
This beach meets all the requirements to have a pleasant experience. You can also rent a sunbed with an umbrella on this beach. There are also several eating and drinking facilities, and there is more than enough space to just lie on your own towel. We rented a car, so we did move ourselves from beach to beach by car. If you do not want to, or there is no possibility to rent a car, don't worry, you can always move yourself from one bay to another with the boat company called Sea Adventure. We fly on to the last beach of our trip and also of this video. This beach is incredibly stretched out and in terms of the paradise feeling, the least of the four. Still, it is absolutely worth it as the beach is located near the town with the same name, Calamillor. This is the largest seaside town on the east coast of Mallorca. There are many shops, all in resorts and many bars and restaurants. The beach also meets the standards. However, it is a bit less cozy than the other beaches in this video. Combined with walking around and eating good food in this tourist town, it was definitely worth ending our short but super relaxing trip. With this said, we also want to end this video and we hope we were able to give you some tips of what to do in Mallorca if you only have two or three days. We can't wait to go back and explore the rest of the island. For now, thank you for watching, leave a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe and see you next time at Ursus Brown Travel.